Hello everybody, this episode looks at how to install and run Championship Manager 2003-2004 in Mac OS OS X. So like all Windows games that we play here at Mac Retro, the first thing we need to have is a Play on Mac installation. If you don't have this already, I'll place a, a link in the description to the video. Uh, otherwise, if you press Control and Space, I'll load Play on Mac. And that should open up for you. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is set a specific drive up, a specific virtual drive up, to play Championship Manager 304 within. We're not going to use the installers within Play on Mac here. We're going to install it ourselves manually, as we have done with other versions of Championship Manager, such as CMO 102. So first of all, if we press the Configure button, it will show all of the virtual drives that we have, and you can obviously see some of the, the Windows games that we've got installed in this build. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new drive for CMO 304. And we do that just by pressing New here. And it'll load the, the wizard to create a virtual drive. Just click on next. I've already tested this one. This will just run on the system install that comes with Play on Mac anyway, so there's no need to install a specific version of Wine here. We'll just play on the system. We'll give this a rather unimaginative name. We'll call it CM0304. Uh, you could call it whatever you want to. Click next and it will create a, a virtual environment for us to first of all install and then go on to play CMO 304 within. So it's created our virtual drive now and on this menu on the left hand side of play on Mac it will have appeared you can see it imaginatively is cited just below CMO 102 um, and the first thing that we're going to have to do, obviously, is to install the game. But before doing so, what we need to do is to is to actually take our well, either install our our disk in our drive or to or to mount it. So for our purposes, I have my CMO three hundred four ISO here on my desktop. I'm going to press Control and left click on my touchpad. And I'm going to open with disk image mounter. And what that does is to mount it as a as a virtual drive, a virtual CD ROM drive in the in the top right hand corner of my screen there. So having done that, we're now ready to uh, to run the installer. So we've selected the drive that we're going to install it within, within Play on Mac, CMO304 in my case. And we're going to head over to the top right tab miscellaneous and what we're going to do is to run a windows executable file in this drive so i have an error with my install so i will click it nothing will happen i'll click on open a shell and it will reveal the dialog that that should appear when you just click on run, run a windows executable and then we're going to navigate our way through to the the iso that we've just mounted which is here and we're going to run the setup file and we're just going to click on open to run that and you'll see the dialog fire up to install CMO 304 we're now switching into full screen it's taking us in there all by itself with this nice little next button and the game will install in exactly the same way as it would have installed in your Windows installation And that is CMO 304 installed on your Mac OS system. Uh, what we may want to do, or, or not, is to patch the game. It's up to you, you don't necessarily need to do this, so the game will work at this point anyway. And to do that we go through exactly the same process. Click on the Runner Windows Executable button, 
and I have two patch files on my desktop here which we can see and we need to run them in sequence so first of all we will run patch 4.1.4.exe and it won't actually allow you to, to run these in the wrong order anyway if 414 has not been installed it won't allow you to install 415 so we just click the we update button here to update the install and that's completed and then we're going to do exactly the same again except this time we will choose the 4.1.5 patch we get the warning mentioning what I've just said that we can't install 4.1.5 without the predecessor having been installed click the update button and that is your install of CMO304 complete what we don't have at this point are any links anywhere to actually run the game so we just need to head back over to this general tab and there's a button here which says make a new shortcut from this virtual drive so we're going to click on that and it will show us all of the programs that we've installed within the drive the first one we want obviously is the game itself cmo304.exe and you can see on the left hand side now the the link has appeared there to the game itself some of you may want the data editor so we can install that we'll select it from the list click on next call it what we want to click on next again and again you can see that is installed there that's probably all that we need so we don't want to make another shortcut click on next we can just close this configuration screen down now and when we go back to play on Mac you can see that the CMO 304 link has started has uh, appeared just below the CMO 102 files if we double click on that we should now be able to play the game and that's the game taken us straight in a full screen uh, my computer is Norwegian, so um, we just need to change the settings. Uh, and um, if you have a, a non Norwegian computer, this should be somewhat easier. Are we just going to change this Norsk to something that I can read? And we're going to save that. And we're going to go back to the menu so we can go to the settings. Um, and change those to match what we want. So you probably won't need to do this on your install. UK pound sterling, weekly Celsius, that's all good to go. And now we can play game. And just to illustrate that it works, we're just going to take a, a one of the quick load games out of the install itself. Just set up a quick profile. Select our nationality. This will be Icelandic for the day to keep with the Nordic theme. We don't want to use a password because we'll forget it anyway. And we'll choose a team. We'll go for the mighty... Halifax. And that's us in business. So hopefully you've managed to install CMO 304 by now and it uh, uh, plays for you. I've not played this uh, to any great extent on, on macOS. I installed it for the first time yesterday. So let us know how you get on.